Science, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out who will you be in your next serious relationship with. Today is the 2nd of January, 2023. Time is... Um, what is the time right now? 6.26 a.m. Yeah. Here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Happy New Year, everyone. And this is a collective reading for uh, water signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same water sign. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Who will they be in your next a serious relationship with? Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Two of Cups. This person feels like it's somebody that both of you will have, will be on the same page, yeah? Will agree, will decide to choose each other with the Two of Pentacles in love first. This person could either come from family or both of you aspire to um, start a family in the future. And also, Ten of Pentacles can indicate a very, very long lasting connection. For me, it indicates marriage, um, longevity, buying a house together, having family together, or adopting pets together. Could also indicate having a blended family if you already have children, or this, if this person already has children. But I feel like the most important thing about, and the most amazing thing about this connection is how, how it's going to be a very, very long lasting. Um, connection, very, very long lasting connection. Tell Pentacles also, I always read it as, you know, growing old together, retiring together. Both of you will have a plan, a proper plan put together uh, in regards to your future. If this person doesn't, you know, Tell Pentacles can indicate inheritance, somebody who has money comes from money, but may not always mean that this person could also have worked really hard to achieve this money. If they don't have money right now, I think both of you will work very well together as a couple to build a business together with the Two of Cups right here. Both of you will decide, will, I, I think this is such a good partnership, right? Because both of you, again, are on the same page and both of you will make things happen for this connection, money-wise, career-wise. Or both of you will have each other's, you know, it could be both of you working together, starting a business together, or... Um, that both of you have money or that both of you are very understanding of each other, uh, each other's career, okay? Both of you could have a separate career or same or similar. That's for some of you. And the magician here is the most first, so that means this is someone who doesn't hide anything, I think. Doesn't hide anything. Um, and the death in my first, I feel like this person will not want this connection to end. I think they're very, very transparent with you. Four Cups in reverse, they definitely would not want to let you get away. So they don't want to regret losing you. So I think this person is going to do the best that they can. And I feel like these three here, although in reverse, like really for me, to me, it's, it's, it's good. It's not even negative at all because it looks like this is someone who doesn't want to lose you someone who doesn't want to end things with you like I, I definitely sense this person sticking around so the cups can indicate maybe this is somebody creative i don't know why i never really read seven of cups as a creative energy but with these cups in the clouds and this person's like looking at these cups here it makes me feel like they're imagining things um and to be someone 
someone who imagines a lot, usually they are very, very creative. Um, I don't know why I'm, I'm feeling this way, but I feel like there's someone very, very creative or someone who wears a lot of hats because somehow right now this woman, the cups look like hats to me. So there could be someone who's multi-talented, who can multitask, or someone who wears a lot of hats. Not, not the little hats, hats, you know what I mean, right? Someone who has many different positions or roles or can, who has different type of jobs. You know, I'm just giving an example. Somebody who's like lawyer by day and then nighttime they are, uh, they sing at a bar. <laughs> something, something like that, okay? Or they could hold like multiple jobs. Or if not, I just feel like this person's imagination is, is wild, but not in a bad way. Either it's because they have someone very creative or someone very resourceful or Seven of Cups, again, it kind of makes me feel to someone who dreams big, right? Always trying to figure, always trying to figure out, you know, how to make it because on, on the same row as Ten of Pentacles here, or that their money, uh, or that their imagination, create, creativity, or talents could make them, could help them with a ten of pentacles. Oh, okay, this is what I'm sensing here. This is someone also maybe, okay, e either they make use of their talents or that either you or this person, it's, it's kind of like someone is going to say, Either you're going to say, hey, why don't you make full use of your talents? Why don't we make money out of it? And then both of you work together, and then both of you will end up building an empire or a huge business because of this person's talent. Or it could be yours, okay? Again, it could go vice versa like this. But definitely a teamwork here, two cups, um, making use of some sort of imagination or talents. Or, you know, I, I, get, <laughs> I get someone a bit... This person could be someone who is like a bit of a dreamer, who dreams big, um, who does the impossible. I'm hearing Elon Musk. <laughs> Some of you, this person kind of, I'm not saying he is going to be, or he or she is going to be like Elon, like exactly like Elon Musk. It could be for some of you, who knows, or one of you. Um, but I'm just feeling that could be like someone like that, a visionary or someone who thinks or dreams big, okay? And yeah, another one, that, another thing that I'm seeing here, another possibility would be, this is somebody who comes from a very rich family. Um, and because of their background, because of how the family is rich, they could, they could just do creative things, like, be, like uh, being a painter, an artist, or, you know, um, someone who is able to explore their creativity or you know don't have to actually don't have to literally work so hard for their money so they can have time or that they can hone on their talents or skills to becoming whatever they want to become you know could be in any sorts of entertainment industry or something artsy that's what i'm seeing in a queen of wands here three of wands Either this person lives far away from you or this is going to happen pretty soon through a once kind of case. This ship is sailing in soon. That means this person could be coming in soon to your life if someone maybe you've already met this person. Um, if you haven't met this person yet, maybe you meet this person within three days, three weeks or three months or in March or on the third of any month. Okay, could mean that. And the Queen of Wands here, this person, I think is somebody popular, magnetic. Doesn't matter, again, King of Queen is not just specific. Definitely very alluring character, um, individual. Um, I still feel this is someone very creative, very passionate, has a lot of drive. Um, always believes in what, like they believe with they believe in their own conviction, okay, that's what I'm seeing. And two of wands, someone that, you know, with a, with a globe here, someone who either, again, it feels like this person thinks ahead, ahead of everyone else. They may be, they may come up with some ridiculous idea that people 
kind of think, are you crazy? This is never going to happen. Hey, but who would have known that we could fly, <laughs> literally? Who would have known that, you know, uh, that there's going to be a plane and there's going to be planes and we're going to be flying and stuff. So this is that type of person who would have this type of visions that a lot of people might think they're crazy because it's on the cups can make it like someone a bit like Albert Einstein or Elon Musk or somebody that like a mad scientist or something. I'm not saying that they are exactly, but there's an energy here again with some of the cups. It's like people might think they're crazy, but they're not. You know, they're just very driven, very passionate. And they they are um, two of ones, the three of ones, they look they look way beyond the like now, okay? So something about the future, definitely a visionary. That's what I'm seeing here. All right, what a science, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. This is your reading, and I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna leave you with a couple of playlists on the screen right now. First one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant because I post them every single day. I upload them right away as well, and I post them sometimes twice a day. All right, take care of all the signs. Hope to see you back here again later or, uh, later or tomorrow. Um, and Happy New Year again. Take care. Bye.